Hello, Ness Tilson here, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to use Stair Designer and ProjeCAD to, to build a reefed handrail um, when the reefed handrail has to be molded or given a specific section. So, as we can see here, here is a, um, a quick staircase that I made in Stair Designer and I've added a reef string and a reef handrail. Now I usually make the reef string with laminates but the handrail, um, if the handrail has to be moulded um, it's usually easier to make it in a solid. So if we have a look at um, the Stair Designer uh, 3D uh, model we have here, you can see the handrails here is, is this is straight off the stair designer calculations and the handrail and the string if you don't touch the stair designer um, the winding parameters of the stair they usually give pretty good results now what we do the first thing we do is we take the staircase and we have to export the staircase we use the export option export stair and we export it into a dxf2d and a dxf3d file so that we can put the file into ProjectCAD. So I've already done this and we can go and see what we can do with it in ProjectCAD. So here we are in ProjectCAD. I've opened a new drawing. Um, I've also opened the 2D drawing which is here and this 2D drawing from Stir Designer and the 3D drawing which is here. What we're going to do now is we're going to copy the parts from the two Stair Designer drawings so that we can make a model in the new drawing um, and we can from the model get the sizes of the block and the face moulds necessary to build the roof rail. First thing we're going to do is going to take out the two the plan of the rail. We're going to copy it from the 2D uh, plan view given by Stair Designer. We're going to use the edit copy command and click copy the just the plan of the roof and we're going to go into the, the new drawing and we're going to do the use the edit paste command to paste this new paste the section into the new drawing. Have a look in isometric view. Here we have the isometric view of the plan. We're going to use the 3D drawing now and we're going to do copy the reef portion the handrail, just click on it here, into the clipboard and we're going to paste this reef, 3D reef portion with the edit paste command and click it onto the plan view. Now here we have the, uh, the 3D model which is made of the 3D faces coming from Stair Designer and we have a plan of the Stair Designer model. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a plan view. I'm going to twist to turn the, the drawing around, the elements in the drawing around, so that uh, we get about a 45 degree turn, so that the extreme points are on a horizontal line here. Now, let's have a look again in the isometric view. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, take the plan view and extrude it into a cylinder that encompasses all of the reef section of the handrail. We're just going to use the extrude command. I'm going to extrude this plan view here and we're going to extrude it up about a metre. It just has to encompass the whole volume of the reef whole volume of the reef section is encompassed in it. We're going to take a face view of this and we can see clearly now the reef as it twists upwards in the cylinder. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the, um, the coordinate system so that it is aligned with the outer 
slope of the reef section and then we're going to put it on the corner here. Now we're going to cut this cylinder which is in white here. We're going to cut it and we're going to cut it along we're going to select it here we cut and we're going to select it we're going to cut it along the z um, the z x axis of the coordinate system now we're going to keep the bottom part and now we have the, the top of the cylinder is cut we're going to move the coordinate system down now to the bottom and we're going to do the same thing again, we're going to cut it. And it's always along the red x-axis. And we're going to keep this time the top part. And now, we have this, the shape of the block, the elevation in fact of the block, that is going to be used to cut out the leaf rail. And here we can see the, the block um, which is in white and the reef brow, the volume of the reef brow which is in brown which is contained within the, the main block. Um, what we're going to do here now is I'm going to put the, the user coordinate system I'm going to align it with the surface that's been cut with the block. We're going to click it on to three points that define the surface. Now the user coordinate system is now aligned with the surface, the, the cut surface of the cylinder. If I now ask to see the model directly um, perpendicular, that is, to the user coordinate system, I now have a, um, a drawing which is like this. And the, the elliptical part here is in fact the real shape of the face mould that can be used to cut the cylinder surfaces of the block. If we uh, let's change a bit, let's change the colour of the blocks, and then we can have a look at let's change the colour of the block into green. And let's have a look at a shaded version. This is a shaded version. Let's hang on. Let's uh, let's isolate just just the um, just the block. The initial, the, the main block that we're going to use to cut out the reef section, and then we are, do a shaded version with highlighted outings. And here we can see quite clearly the shape of the block and the shape of the face mold that we're going to use to cut out the handrail. Right, and the the um, the actual the, the the dimensions of the block are actually here. Here we have the dimensions of the block. So we have dimensions and the face mould, and that's pretty much what, well, most of what we need to actually build the curved rail. Right, thank you very much for watching, and I hope that's been of interest to you. Um, maybe in another video, I'll try to get into a bit more detail of how we actually make the handrail from the block. Thank you very much. Bye.